Hello everyone, in this tutorial we're going to create this calculator. If we do for example 15 plus 15, we got 30. Okay, let's do clear everything. For example, let's write any number and if we did a mistake, we can clear and we can turn it into a negative or not. As you can see, everything works perfectly. Except that I didn't program the dot, you know, I leave it to you. My purpose in this exercise is to show you how to use this by simple GUI library to create a simple calculator, but we did everything else. Okay, we're going to start from this template, so it's empty, we have nothing here. There is nothing in the layout. Created our window and extracted our values and checking if I press the X key, break and close the window. Okay, now we're going to create three columns. Let's write here, column one is equal to a list and we're going to create a list of list. So first we're going to create three buttons in this line, sg.b and let's write zero as an example and here comma, we're going to change the size for two, okay? And then font, change the style. So the style that we want is bold Okay, now we're going to copy this. Okay, and now let's do sg.call for creating a column and then column one. Let's run our code. Okay, this is our three buttons. Let's copy the line. They should be four. Okay, run it again. Okay, amazing. We're going to create another column, column two. So what we need, we're going to copy the this one. There should be only one button here. Only one button and then copy it four times or three times. Okay, well then we're here we're going to add a comma and then sg dot col column two and see okay amazing and here we're going to create a vertical separator so sg dot vertical separator okay you know for this one i want to create the plus sign you know i'm going to remove this one and double Double this four. Still small. Let's do it five. Okay, much better. Let's create the third column. Column three. I'm going to copy this one. A lot of copy and pasting. Yeah. It's not working. Yeah, because I didn't add it here. SG dot call column three. Okay, amazing. And let's change, let's rename them. Here we're going to do plus forward slash and minus. Okay, this one's zero and the last one is dot one, two, three four i'm just writing the the numbers okay this one's going to be multiply minus and plus this one is going to be forward slash for division this one is going to be you know clear and for clear this one clear everything and here equal let's run our code okay okay now we're going to add the keys. We're not going to add from zero to nine. So let's call it opposite. And let's copy this. For the dot, I will leave it to you. Dot. Multiply. Go, just multi. Minus. And this one plus. 
divide. Let's call it clear. Clear everything. And this one is equal. Oh, I put two commas here. Which line? Seven. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, we still have two. Two commas. Also here. Let's try again. Okay, amazing. Now we are going to create the input here. So sg dot i. Okay. So it's small. We don't care. We don't care about the size now. Let's change the font because when we change the font, the size will change automatically. Let's do it font first. The name of the font. I don't care about it. None. And then the size. Let's say twenty. Okay. Now I'm gonna do size. Let's try thirty. And then here, let's do thirty and one. That's much big. It's too much big. Ten. Okay, it's small. Let's do it thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah, thirteen is okay. Okay, now our user interface is finished. Let's program. What we are going to do is when we click on the buttons, the numbers are going to be in this input. So here, an else if statement, else if, mm, you know, I'm going, we need to create a list from zero to nine. So let's call it none is equal to a string of I for I in range 10. Okay, now we have numbers from 0 to 9, and then I'm gonna check if event in nums. Okay, if it is, we're going to window and here input dot update event event. Okay, let's try it. Okay, it's not working. Input is it called input? Oh, I didn't, I didn't create the key input. I created it in my mind. <laughs> okay, let's try it again. Okay, we're going to create here a variable called history. It's going to store everything that we're going to write. So here I'm going to do history plus equal event. And here we're going to write history. Okay, let's try it again. I don't want to write two zeros to solve this problem. We just need to write int here and this one will solve that problem. Okay, as you can see, I'm not able to, to add zeros because int three zeros will equal to zero. Okay. Oh. Okay, now I need to limit to a certain number. Let's let's try ten. Here, if the length of history is is less than ten, so we will be able to add digits or numbers less than ten characters. Okay, let's try. Okay, it's ten. Okay, I'm gonna add two because the input is a little bit big. I can still add another one, but it's okay. 12 characters are good. Now I can write the first part. So after that, I will click on a sign, for example, the equal sign. And when I click on the equal sign, I will add another number. So now we're going to deal with the signs. Create a new variable. Let's call it operator is equal to, and we're going to add all the operator keys. 
Okay, and here inside another else if statement, I'm gonna say if event in operator. Okay, if it is, we're gonna say operator is equal to event and store that first part inside a variable. Let's call it num1 and into a float. Let's do float history. Okay, and going to set the history to an empty string again for writing the second part. I need to add the second part, the second number. Okay, when I add it, I will press on equal sign. So now I'm going to check if the event is equal equal sign. So else if event is equal equal. We are going to star the second part inside a variable called num2 float history. And then start doing a check if the operator is equal to plus or going to the result is equal to num1 plus num2. I'm gonna copy these, change this to else if, and here plus, let's do minus, change to minus here, plus divide divide add multi multiply okay let's try it okay it's not working yet it will not work until we update that result in the screen in the input so window dot you know i'm just gonna copy this instead of writing okay update with the, with the result let's try it now 10 plus 10. Oh, it's not working. Float is not defined. 37. Ah, yes. Ten plus ten is equal to twenty. Okay, seems it's working. Let's do the clear. Else if event is equal to clear let's see if the key is correct prefer to paste it okay it's selected no need to paste it first we're going to check if the length of history is greater than zero so if length of history is greater than zero then we're going to do we're going to do something we're going to do history is equal to history and we want to take everything except the last one and then we're going to update it inside the screen. So we're not going to write it. Let's copy and paste. History. Okay, let's try it if it works. Okay, it works. Amazing. And now we're going to add the clear everything. So else if event is equal to clear everything. We're going to set history is equal to an empty string. I'm gonna set num1 is equal to zero and num2 is equal to zero. And also the operator is equal to an empty string. And then update the window into, into the history, which is an empty string. Now let's try and run it. Let's do 125 plus five and then clear everything. Okay, 10 plus 10. Is equal 20 okay it works okay and now we're going to use the this one the opposite this is easier uh, we're going just multiply the history by minus one so else if event is equal to opposite what we're going to do history is equal to string because at the end we want it to be string so history which is an int multiply minus one and then update and update it in the screen or in the input let's try it 15 okay plus one should should get 14 yeah it works okay i think we finished it we, i just didn't do the comma the dot here, you should do it alone. The purpose of this small exercise is to show you how to use this library to create small program. 
you know, now it's just programming. You get the basics, you get the idea how it works. And also I will put the link of the source code of this project on my GitHub.